uh, or altered with other parties. Okay, I think this is not the requirement uh, of the library, but it's the requirement of the university. So that means uh, every lecturers to join IRAP as a staff, they need to get their their publications into IRAP, which later will um, link to the Myra, Myomi, and Sakara. Okay, so type of publication in IRAP. Okay, uh, there are five types of publication in IRAP: comprises of article, book, two chapter, monograph, and question paper. Provided that there are a published publication, you are not um. Uh, advice to uh, deposit unpublished publication except for conference paper. Okay, but uh, first and foremost, we need to deposit the published publication. Okay, uh, as on the screen. Okay, okay. Let's see how I uh, how I works. Okay, uh, so basically, this is how I works. Okay, on your part, you are the author or RIM staff. You need to deposit an evidence which is already in PDF format. Complete the metadata in IRAP and then assign the subject for your uh, uh, for the IRAP report that you created. Okay, this is called the user work area. Okay, once you have uh, clicked the deposit button, we will change from user work area. Okay, this one uh, from user work area we change to under review. Okay, at this point, the task of IRAP editor to validate and verify all the information that you enter in IRAP. Okay, we will check the Evidence that you uploaded, and also we will check the metadata whether it is uh, uh, compliant with the evidence that you upload. Okay. If everything is alright, we will approve that record and from under this status, we will change to live archive. Okay. So, this is also the task of IMAP uh, editor uh, to do the approval for the IMAP uh, record that you created. Okay. Let's say um, when, when we check the record that you deposit into IMAP, and there is a uh, misinformation or the uh, evidence that you are there is not uh, complied with the other requirements. Okay, we will return that, uh, that record to your user area where you need to do uh, editing for that uh, particular record. Okay, why we return the record is because of this uh, reason. Okay, uh, it could be insufficient evidence. It could be due to the poor evidence and to many files. So we cannot justify which file is Correctly, uh, um, uh, for example, the uh, evidence that you um, upload to IRAP. Okay. The other uh, reason why we need to remove your IRAP record is because uh, it could be a duplicate record and it is not unrelated to uh, research publication or it is published before you join IRAP. So uh, sometimes, whenever the lecturer they deposit their publication to IRAP, we will check against the evidence. If there is no IIM application, we will uh, either remove or we will return that record and we will uh, we want you to confirm whether that publication has been published before you join IIM or after you join IIM. If you saw no IIM application, so it could be that publication is uh, published before you join IIM, therefore they are not allowed to be uploaded into IIM. Okay? So, um, once the uh, record has been approved, so that record will uh, give marks for your Myra, Myomi, and Sarah. Okay, that is why we uh, not recommended you to deposit unpublished publication because they do not carry any marks for this, uh, uh, for this Myra, Myomi, and Sarah. Okay, uh, and then it also will link to your CV online uh, and your IAM stuff directly, which later uh, will be used for. APA and uh, promotion. Okay, right, next. Okay, now let's go into other evidence requirement. This one you can refer to the lack of publication and evidence required for submission into IRAP, which is available in the IRAP uh, website. Okay, and also we will also look into the evidence sample. So before you can start visiting your publication into IRAP, these are the important notes that you have uh, to pay attention. Whereby only published by publication will be counted for Myra, Manuri, etc. Okay, and then affiliation on evidence. Please make sure that you have your name, department, PDR, or at least IIM on the evidence to confirm that you are a staff of IIM as well as your email address. That one is also used to confirm that you are a staff of IIM, and only we can approve that uh, particular request. Okay, publication published prior to joining IIM as a staff. It's not allowed to be uploaded in IRAC. Okay, 
That is why whenever you upload your computation requirement for the evidence, you will check the case here, all right? So impress and unpublished computation are not recommended to be uploaded in IRAC. So in case this type of publication has been uh, uploaded in IRAC, kindly inform IRAC editor so that we can check that record, okay? So uh, please upload the evidence when it is published, okay? Because we will give priority to the published publication, and sometimes that is why you will see whenever you are using unpublished publication, you will see that uh, unpublished publication is still under review. Okay, because we will give the priority to the published publication. Okay, next. Okay, these are another important uh, notes that you need uh, uh, to give attention whenever you want to use your publications to IRAP. Okay, these ten types are not considered research publication. Sometimes uh, lecturer they will uh, definitely teach or talk, lecture or class like presentation, student briefing, class dinner materials, uh, teaching materials uh, outside IIM where lecturers uh, get honorarium or get paid, and then training materials for workshop, uh, moderator for discussion, follow up workshop, panel speaker in a conference, forum, seminar, workshop, Facebook. These days are very popular with Facebook Live or sometimes YouTube Live, right? And then uh, TV or radio interviews. And then it's paper magazine interviews whereby the academic um, staff is not the writer for that particular article, but only the uh, interviewee, okay, not the author. So these types are not allowed to be uh, deposited into IRAC, okay, because they are not considered as a research publication. Okay, these uh, types of category, you may update the information in IIPM release. Okay. Um, Okay, now let's look into the status of published publication. What are they? So, for item type 1 is for article. Uh, please um, bear in mind that only published publication will be counted for Myra, Mayuri, and Sarah Marks. Okay, other than that, will not be counted. Okay. Uh, what is an article? Article is a full uh, text article published in a journal, magazine, meeting, newspaper, academic website, authored by IEM staff. Okay. So the publication type will be journal article, will be your article review. So these are the requirements that needed uh, into uh, for the publication to be approved, okay, or for the record to be approved, okay. Whenever you deposit uh, the requirement according to, whenever you deposit the publication according to the requirement, so the IRA editor will verify uh, with the publisher website, okay. Whether the uh, document is correct or not, then only we, we can approve that uh, record. Right? You can also represent uh, publication types such as magazine, bulletin, newsletter. Okay? So these are the requirements. Okay. And then uh, the example could be from the Sudan newsletter, bulletin, any magazine. Okay? And then uh, the newspaper article. It can be the newspaper article from the printer or uh, online newspaper article. Okay. So these are the evidence sample for published uh, article online. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, whenever you deposit the article, so we will, we will verify if the published online whether the uh, uh, sorry, the publication that you upload is um, right or not according to the publisher website. Okay. Okay, these are the evidence samples for published magazine. So the published magazine it can be from the printed magazine or the online magazine. Uh, excuse me for what. Uh, is the effect of the uh, post only. <coughs> so what we, you need to deposit for published magazine, whether it is a printed magazine or online magazine, you need to uh, uh, sorry, you need to deposit the cover page, the editorial or copyright page, and then the full text of the article. Uh, make sure there is an authorization that stated that you are an IEM staff, right? <coughs> Okay, the next sample is the newspaper article. It can be the newspaper article from online or it can be from the printed. So uh, for the printed, you need to scan the newspaper and upload it 
if you are at the PDF format, right? The same goes with the online. You need to save um, the newspaper in PDF format and upload it uh, into I. And make sure that there is an authentication on each of the evidence that you uh, deposit into I. Okay? okay, next one is the address sample from the academic website. Uh -huh. If you author an article in any FTC website, you can also upload them into IMAP. Okay, this one is for the Malaysian, uh, Malaysian Technical Gazette. So make sure that you have the uh, authorization to um, uh, to get the record to be um, approved. Okay, without the authorization, we might return the record and uh, confirm with you whether you got on uh, this paper or not. Okay. Okay, the next one we'll do is to item type number two, which is a book, uh, provided that it is a published uh, book of third or edited by IRM staff. So, the publication type, uh, this is a publication type of book. Uh, this, it, it can be research book, academic book, textbook, or general book. So, the evidence required for submission of IRM is this one. All of this you need to provide us to enable that report to be approved, okay? No worries, uh, because uh, all this information you can get from the IR homepage. You just go to about and there is a uh, evidence requirement for all of the item types that you deposited, right? So for each of the book, the hard copy uh, need to be kept in the library collection, which is under the FP uh, or faculty publication. We have one copy of the original book to be kept in the library. Right? <coughs> okay, these are the evidence sample for the book. Uh, you need to have this cover page, and then the title page, copyright page, full table of contents. Okay, and then uh, the preface, normally for research book. And then uh, for research book, you also need to provide us with the index page, and then the author. Uh, of the biography and then the background of the book. Okay? <laughs> Am I going to pass? If you have any question, just feel free to ask it. Okay, next, we look into the book chapter. Uh, the evidence is the same as the book, mm -hmm. except that it needs to uh, have the chapter of that particular uh, chapter which uh, available in the book. Okay? So it, it is uh, a bit, uh, it is recommended for you or for the quiet to provide the full pages of the whole chapter. Let's say if the chapter is available online, it uh, will not be uh, hard for you to upload that, but if the book is a printed book, so you need to copy, uh, sorry, you need to, yeah, you need to copy the whole chapter and upload that into IRAC. So we will uh, verify the evidence. Is, if, if everything is alright, then we will approve the record. Okay? So these are the evidence sample for the chapter. So, uh, the, the first one is the same as a book, so you need to have the cover page and then the title page, copyright page, and then full table of content, uh, the preface, and the uh, index page, and list of the contributors if you contribute your chapter in that particular book. And then the first page of the chapter, okay, if the first page of the chapter do not have a page number, you need to scan the second page of the page number, okay, and then the back cover. But uh, please also provide the full page of the chapter. Okay. So the next one is a washing paper. Washing paper is a paper that uh, published uh, after you present it in a conference. Okay, it can be uh, uh, from the conference or the workshop, provided that it's authored by you. Okay. So the type is a washing paper or uh, keynote paper of the proceedings in a conference or workshop. So these are the evidence required, okay, and it must be in uh, PDF format, alright? So far here, right? Uh, so let's go see. So these are the evidence sample of this paper. So you need to provide us the cover page, copyright page, full table of contents, and then the full text is recommended, alright? So the last one is, uh, the last item that you can deposit into I like is the photograph. Provided that it is a published photograph. Okay. So it can be the technical reports and policy paper or the other one is a case study. 
So as you can see here, these are the publication type of the monograph that you have that you can have digitally into IRAP. Please do not demonstrate monograph that is a final, in a final stage. Okay, that one is I believe there is another system for you to demonstrate that one. Okay, but in IRAP, you need to demonstrate only the published monograph. Okay, so these are the evidence required. Okay. Uh, uh, no need to memorize because we already have this uh, example in the IRAP notation. Okay, then check. Okay, so the one uh, uh, one copy of monograph is at the right direction. Okay, so the, these are the item sample for the monograph. So as usual, you need to provide us a cover page, title page, copyright page, and then the full table of contents, author contribution that stated your name in that monograph, and then a uh, full page of the monograph is required. Okay. Let's move on. So, what if you want to demonstrate the status in press? As I mentioned earlier, we will give priority to the published publication. But if you do uh, demonstrate in press or unpublished publication, that one will be in a secondary uh, to approval. Okay? The first one will give priority to the published publication. So, what if you demonstrate the status in press? We do accept. So, these are the uh, I do like for uh, impress publication. So, what is a uh, uh, impress publication for article? So, impress publication for article is a full text article that has been accepted for publication, authored by IMA staff. So, it can be printed, which, which is a uh, head of print. So, early side online first article for journal. So, typically, uh, the article will not be assigned to a volume issue number and will be originated in isolation. Or for example, issue number. So there is no uh, number, each number, and then volume number, no number yet, no number given to this uh, particular uh, impress article. Okay? So it can be an article. So these are the items required for uh, impress article, except for the article which is not available as a uh, preprint or inside the online first. So you need to provide the acceptance letter from the publisher. Okay? Without the acceptance acceptance letter, we might turn this uh, record to your area and request you to upload the acceptance letter. Okay? And then uh, we will also verify the information that you uploaded for the press from the publisher website okay? uh, and also from Scopus uh, website on my site. Okay? So these are the every sample for a website article. Okay, this one is excerpt from um, Emerald. Okay? We will check against whether it is an uh, early site article or publish article and then if uh, there is no uh, if the article is not available as, as uh, a design briefing or a you know, brief, so you need to provide the sample of acceptance letter okay so the acceptance letter maybe it can be from the email the you and the publisher okay or uh, printed acceptance letter that we need to scan and then uh, upload that to the right so now for impress of item type book in chapter and was paper. So the same of uh, description is where it is authored by IM staff, which has been accepted for publication but it's still in the stage of uh, final stage of production. So it can be book in chapter and was continued paper. So these are the required uh, evidence for submission. Okay. So for book, you need to provide the dummy cover page, the book content, uh, ISBN of so normally for unpublished publication, um, it is from the conference paper when you present it in the conference. So it can be the uh, unpublished paper of the conference or workshop authored by IRM staff. Okay. So the publication type will be the uh, conference or workshop paper, uh, keynote presentation or poster presentation. So these are the evidence required for submission into IRM. Okay. Uh, you can find this um, evidence in the IRM page. So this is basically what uh, we want you to um, upload into IRM. Okay. So for uh, I publish all the papers. Uh, these are the evidence. Okay. And then 
So there are three, three uh, evidence required. Uh, the first one, if you have all this, you will accept. Or if you only provide us this, you will accept, also accept. And if you provide us with all of this, also you will accept for unpublished conference, right? <coughs> So these are the other examples for conference paper to be uh, approved in QWCM to IPF. So it has to be the, uh, the first, uh, so the cover page of the official program group. And then the tentative program, uh, the and then the tentative program, and then the abstract page. What do Okay, so the for the induction. Okay. Um, so if you provide us with the uh, official program book and then the tentative program and also the poster, we will accept for unpublished conference, right? Okay, the next one. Uh, if you provide us with the official program book, tentative program, and the slide presentation, also we will accept for the record to be approved, right? Okay. <coughs> Uh, the next one is the steps to the publication book to IRF. Okay, hold on now. Let me change the slide. Uh, I will stop sharing this one. So, share that one. And uh, stop sharing here then. Okay, never mind. Uh, I just continue with the slide. Okay, actually, I want to show you the real situation of the publications in IRAC, but I do have a slide here. So, these are the steps to deposit publication into IRAC.
Okay, so again for the uh, interruption. Okay, uh, now let's go into the IRAP registration. Okay, the first step before you can start visiting your publication into IRAP, you need to be a very, uh, you need to have an IRAP account, which I believe most of you already have the IRAP account. So let's just go through about the IRAP registration. Okay, to register, uh, you just go to the IRAP page for new lecturers and then uh, just uh, click create account as shown on the uh, uh, on the screen, okay, and then you can proceed with the um, uh, field in your mandatory field to create your account. So, uh, you take uh, please make sure that you uh, activate via email so the activation will expire in one week, okay. And once uh, complete, just click uh, register and then your, your account is registered. Okay? So, the next one if you have forgotten your password, just click reset and just enter the new uh, password. Uh, the same process uh, will just uh, follow like the previous uh, how to register your IRAP account. Okay, now let's look into the most important part in IRAP, which is the step to deposit publication into IRAP. Okay. First, you need to log in into IRAP uh, page. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the most important thing before you can start visiting your publication into IRAP is to check for the publication. Because sometimes the publication you will co-author with other IIM staff. So probably um, the co-author or the author itself will deposit the publication on behalf of any other authors. So first of all, first and foremost, you need to check for the title uh, for the publication to check for the publication. Okay? So if the search has no measure, that means there is no duplication, okay, then you can proceed with the deposit process, right? So to start the deposit process, uh, at the user menu, go to manage your visit, okay, click manage your visit, and then uh, click new item. So as you can see here, this is the auto-generated IRAP ID. That means that every of IRAP record is, uh, has been assigned a unique number. So they cannot be duplicated. Except for the title, you can be duplicated. That is why before you can start duplicating the publication, you need to need for the you need to check for the duplication. Okay. Uh, the number is unique, so there is no way that it can be duplicated. Okay, and then click type here, and then select item type, and then click next. Okay. So here, uh, there are many process here that you need to do. Okay, the first one is. Um, you need to upload the required document into IRAP, which is uh, already prepared in PDF format. Okay? When you upload the document, if you see this sign, which is the PDF sign icon, okay, that means your publication has been successfully uploaded. Correct? And then after that, you need to set the document requirement. Okay? Uh, click the show option here in the IRAP. Okay, it will bring you to another. Uh, 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 page okay. Here you need to, to uh, set the visi visibility level of each of the IRAP uh, publication that you upload. Okay. So there are three types of visibility uh, level here. It can be anyone, registered users only, and representative staff only. So we don't um, encourage you to set the visibility level to anyone because when you set uh, to anyone, it can be uh, be an open access and can be downloaded by anyone, alright? Because uh, uh, we do not um, uh, require, uh, uh, um, advise you to set the visibility level to anyone because we do not know your copyright agreement between the uh, between you and the publisher. Okay, that is why in IRAP it is advisable to uh, set the visibility level to register user only or visibility staff only. Okay. For registered user only, if you if you write the paper uh, with uh, other authors from IIM, that means the authors from IIM can also view this publication. Okay, if you uh, the only author, okay, 
you set the dividend to level, you represent the base sum of the dividend. Okay, so why is the question here? The question? Okay, anyway, uh, let's proceed. So, uh, at the content, by default, it looks already set as a published version. Okay, you cannot upload uh, other than published uh, publication. Okay, and then <clears throat> you select the visibility level, which is I explained earlier. Uh, either register user or register sub only. Okay, then you click uh, next or uh, go to the next page. Okay, next. Okay, here uh, there are so many things uh, happening around here where at this detail uh, corner you need to fill in all the information about your publication in the required field. Okay. Please uh, try to fill in as many uh, information as possible. Okay? If you are unsure on how to uh, enter the information, you just click the question mark. Okay? And then you can check the example available. Okay? Once you click the question mark. <coughs> okay. So these are the sample of the publication uh, being uploaded into IREC. Okay, we will uh, verify uh, on the evidence itself with the information that you enter in the details field. Okay, please make sure that all the names in the evidence also will be in the same uh, in the same sequence as in the evidence. Okay, if you are the first author, make sure that your name in the later author field also in the first. Um, Field. Okay, uh, do not um, jumble the name okay? and make sure that it is also in sequence. Okay, so make sure that you enter only IIM in the address, right? And then uh, make sure you uh, put in your staff ID if you are an IIM staff, and then your affiliation from which studio you are, and then the uh, affiliation either you are from uh, if you wrote the paper with other. Uh, authors from other universities, please just put their, their application in the application uh, field here, okay, accordingly. And then if you want to change the person type, if you are stuck, you just uh, use the arrow, uh, drop down arrow here, and then change them accordingly to the, uh, 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 the publication, okay. As well as the author status, if you are the correspondent for this publication, make sure that the author status change to correspondent. If you are only the author, just uh, change uh, your status to author. Okay? Normally, we will uh, uh, use this two for correspondence and author. Okay? So, these are the notes. Okay? As I explained earlier, the author must be sequence uh, and the name as in I am subjective. Sometimes in the publication, your name will be spelled uh, differently. So, whenever you want to uh, enter your name in the greater author field, make sure that your name as in the IIM star directly. Okay, please follow the name as in the IIM star directly. Okay, enter on the IIM email. Okay, because if you enter uh, other than IIM email, this record will not be, you will not be linked to your CD online. Uh, that is why sometimes the lecturer cannot see. They say they already deposit your publications into IRAP, but due to this, due to the email which is strongly entered, the publication cannot be linked to their CV online right? and they cannot see. Alright? And then uh, choose the Kudia in the department. Okay? At the details part, there are Kudia in the department, then you need to choose uh, accordingly, uh, according to your Kudia in the department. Okay? Because if you do not choose uh, rightly, so it might uh, link uh, whenever the um, public, if they want to search the paper, let's say from Kudia uh, or KICP, they will not find it because the uh, Akulia is uh, just uh, wrong name, okay? Okay. So, uh, this one, uh, as I explained earlier, so uh, the I am on the staff, you need to enter your IP mail, some number in the department, okay? For all group, for four authors, either they are students or external author, uh, enter the option name, email, Akulia is available, and the 
disinfect. The disinfect must be um, uh, external neighbors. Uh, oh, sorry, the disinfect must be of the, but the, the, the type of the uh, authors uh, can be student or external author. Okay? And then for national or local institution, just use abbreviation uh, such as IIM, uh, UC, UPM, USM, UPM, or UITM. Okay? Uh, for international institution, please enter their full name. Okay? If you are unsure, just can click the uh, question mark and the example will be shown there. Okay, uh, industry uh, also the same. You can either put the uh, full name. The full name, okay? Uh, or for, for Malaysian, if I'm not mistaken, you can also put the uh, short form for, let's say for TNP, uh, okay. that will be accepted. Okay. So the next step is to choose the subject for the publication that you are using to IRF. Okay. Uh, just click uh, the subject according to your publication, according to the topic of the publication. Uh, if you mistakenly uh, select the subject, you can still remove them and select the correct one. Okay. okay, once all the uh, information has been confirmed, we can uh, click here to deposit item. Okay, this is when, uh, 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 when you click here to deposit item, okay, from the item review status, we will change to live archive. This is when this record, I have report, will be linked to your online and you can see for your staff directly at your list of publications. Okay, um, please allow 24 hours for this record to be linked to your CD online. Okay, let's say you uh, deposit today, let's say at this hour, and then in two hours you check, uh, you check it is still not linked. Uh, yeah, it is still not linked because it will take more than four hours for that uh, particular report to be used. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, if uh, whenever you have uh, deposited this record, it will uh, change from your user area to the other review status. And uh, at this level, it will be validated and verified by the uh, IRF editors. If one it has been uh, approved, then only it will change your life, right? So let's say you want to check uh, whether that uh, particular record that you deposit has been changed uh, or not. You can just go to your manage everything and you can check the uh, you can check the status here. Yes, okay. As I mentioned earlier, we will give variety to the published publication. Uh, normally, after weekend, there will be a lot of uh, lists that the lecture will be deposited. So we will uh, uh, we will try to our best to uh, approve that published record as soon as possible once they are when they have been deposited into IRF. Uh, so we will yeah. Uh -uh. Uh, anyone at the IRF uh, unit, okay, or the IRF uh, editors, you can uh, just contact anyone at the IRF, uh, IRF unit, okay. So if you wish to check your status, okay, of the record that you deposit, whether it has been changed from other review or whether it has been uh, tied, you just go to your manager and you can see the status here, okay. Nice, okay. Uh, so for any assistant, you just contact any of the IRF editors available. Okay, just go to the IRF page and then go to uh, about and then you can also see the manual guideline. Okay, the manual guideline of the IRF requirement and then the FAQ about IRF. Okay. Alright, uh, that's all for me. So I wish I can share with you the things on, but I, I believe uh, the site is also already helpful, isn't it? But, uh, okay. If anything you need to know more about IRF, just feel free to ask any of the IRF editors. We are more than happy to assist you in your Thank you.
Yeah, maybe it can be uh, deposited in the unpackaged part. Okay, I want to ask uh, the lecturers here. Uh, is the unpublished conference paper uh, is counted for promotion or renewal of content? This one is a text from me. Because I want uh, a funny clarification from the lecturers. So if uncounted, <laughs> so I think no need to vote that because the counted one uh, that can be marked. In any publication, yes, it can be uploaded in IRAN. That's why, right, because it's confusing the librarian to approve it. Uh, because it's under competition, not under content paper uh, item. Also, if uh, you presented in a conference, yes. Presentation, uh, that's why we will look at the event itself. 
What kind of event is that? Publication, written publication or written research. But if for me, better not upload it in iPad because it will um but return the stuff who want to approve it because if we uh, accept this kind of thing, all the published item that need to be approved uh, immediately will be you know. Thank you. 
Assalamualaikum. Um, we have uh, one patient. Okay, uh, one patient from Dr. Asma. Dr. Asma, okay. From Zoom. Okay, uh, Dr. Asma, you can... Uh, right. Okay, all right. So, um, I, I want to ask regarding the copyright form. Okay, how to fill how to fill in the man hour spent and contribution percentage when there when there are eleven uh, team members? Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Can you hear me? Uh, I write question in the chat in the chat. Can can you read? This on the copyright, right? Yes, on the cop copyright form. Is there any question for the IRAP? IRAP no. This one I I want to ask on the copyright form. Okay, so the copyright can be separated. Yeah, that's not. Okay, uh, I think uh, we can proceed to the second speaker. Okay, um, let's welcome Sister Anis uh, to share to share about the copyright. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, professor, uh, Associate Professor, Sister Professor, uh, Dr. Uh, Sir Medal, uh, thank you for coming to, to this workshop. Uh, uh, my name is Adis Aljah Dikadhar. I'm from Kupirat Ibn Dara Malagri. With me today, uh, my uh, head of uh, the support section, Medal Ibn and my colleague, Brother Ridwan, from Research and Data Unit. Uh, thank you, Office of Responsible Research and Innovation, KICT, and collaboration with Dan Anumar Library uh, for organizing this workshop. So, um, I will present about Let's Get the Copyright. Okay. So, my content for today is about the Mayuko uh, Intellectual Property Corporation of Malaysia. Uh, copyright application. Uh, the contract monitoring notification procedure and also a little bit of sample. Okay, firstly, uh, why is a copyright? Copyright no one authors uh, to further uh, software writer, website designer, and other factors uh, legal protection for the application referred to uh, as a work or anything. So, uh, the benefit if academician or researcher. Uh, to apply for the copyright, a uh, researcher can control the image of the work, uh, such as plagiarism, who can avoid the plagiarism, and also to receive the remuneration. Uh, because the, the work uh, already um, copyright and uh, you have the, the right for your work. Okay, so this is uh, the website of the Intellectual Property Corporation. 
population uh, of Malaysia, Malipo. Uh, this is a government agency, uh, and then the copy of this is the address of the Malipo website. Okay, according to the Malipo, copyright is the exclusive right to photo effective work created by the author, copyright owner, and performer for a specific period. Government under the copyright A nineteen eighty seven. Okay, so uh, then I can like will receive the application from the researcher or the and then uh, we will uh, we will uh, complete the requirement by Malipo. There are three requirements by them. Firstly, for the award, notification of copyright in the work, and then second, the work. Uh, in CD or DVD, and also the piece. So, uh, basically, the, there are three main criteria for the submit the work. For the work must be in the original form, in a material, and also must be fall under the categories of copyrightable work. So, the categories of copyrightable work, uh, according to the MyPo, there are separate uh, categories. Okay, firstly, literary, literary such as the article, textual information, uh, that's all uh, will fall under the literary. And then for artistic material such as photograph, uh, painting, uh, and then if a uh, researcher or academician has a maybe move a deep diagram or the layout uh, of the product, uh, also will be fall under the artistic. And then the musical like uh, music note, and then the sound recording, the film in the video live, broadcast, and also the recording. The recording is a special category because uh, this is like translation from the original work. So if researcher want to translate other uh, original work from other author, uh, the researcher must get the permission from the original author. That is the mandatory the permission. Yes, Dr. Nura? Uh, yes, Dr. For broadcast, um, uh, 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 for the body, for support, uh, we fall under the literary. Uh, yes, Dr. Uh, yes, if uh, if you uh, if the describe the application and that's in the textual form, then it will fall under the literary. Yes, yes, So 
bendera atau bendera komunis dan warna komunis because if uh, if we insist with the one that we can read, uh, we will inform the researcher. Okay, so uh, there are also the words that cannot be copyright. So firstly, the ideas because ideas not in the literary format, so cannot be copyright. And then the fact also cannot be copyright. Name, title, slogan, and other surprise also cannot be copyright because it will fall under the intellectual property right. I just, I just, I think, uh, such as trademark, patent. So for copyright, we only cover the seven categories. And then official government book, uh, such as ACTA, also uh, no, cannot be copyright. Okay, uh, so we go to the how we do identity survey. So this is uh, the procedure uh, to submit the copyright. Okay, this is the link. Uh, uh, this uh, copyright exposure form, exposure form can be found at our radio website. Okay. And download it, and the teacher need to fill in all the information here. Uh, we will have the hands on after the session on how to uh, fill in this form. Okay, so after the teacher uh, fill in the information form, uh, the teacher needs to submit an application to RMS2, attach together the copyright disorder form, the copyright server material. Or the, uh, and the DP report, uh, the result of the study must be not exceed 34%. Okay, this, uh, this uh, three uh, requirements is uh, mandatory to upload in the registry. Okay, so this is the website of the IOM uh, RMS P2. Okay, uh, this is uh, how this teacher uh, need to submit? So after login, click the IPR registration, and then for the source of research project, uh, please specify the project name if available. If not, uh, please put nine 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 or not available. And then uh, here uh, there are button the page. So uh, uh, pick up the form and the answer to. And submit. Sorry, there is no, there is no, uh, I didn't check. So, what do you need to put for the ID card? Uh, nine, nine, nine. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do that. Okay. So, after the decision <coughs> complete the information here and attach the three document that require uh, here, okay, uh, Click on the submit and then they show up we receive the email of notification. So the application must be approved by the head of research. After the head of research approve the application, it will go to the library. Okay, Doctor need to check the 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 work available there. Uh, the third spot recommend and the work for the yeah. That's all. Okay. Uh, for even notification, sometimes it go to the spam mail. So, uh, hopefully, uh, Dr. Richard can check the comment. And then, uh, here, uh, the library will approve the application. And then, uh, the staff will uh, notify either approve or written. And then, we'll notify about the fees and, and how and way to download it. I have a way to um, uh, pay uh, using uh, the one uh, you are in the point of the Okay, okay, we will go to the next. Okay, uh, this part is popular on the regular picture. Okay, uh, starting 18 March 2022, there are new uh, fees uh, come up. 
So the the work is a identification of copyright in a work is two hundred ringgit, and plus the animation fee fifty ringgit, and also the processing fee ten ringgit. So total for one application is two hundred sixty, and about uh the work uh available at this three D. Actually, there are some additional costs.
the uh, write up, okay, uh, not exactly like the publish going to be published article lah. Uh, okay, so as long as uh, report thirty in not exceed thirty four percent, okay, and then we can go for the uh, for, 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 for the university lah, okay, for the research base lah. Okay, so minimum uh, six pages lah. Okay. Minimum six pages. It's super simple like that. So, uh, the introduction, how many, what is the question, and for how many. Okay. Okay. There are some research open and also based on the research uh, this work can but uh, monthly a uh, run up or uh, maybe the format like the article or the report.
uh, oh boy, it is by that, by that, that it, it was because of the Mayama. So the, the friends here, but for the issue of the leader, it's no issue. If you post the uh, yes, it will post the final 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 Okay, this is the sample of the work. Alright. And 
as you can see our form, this is the form uh, by my book. Then uh, uh, this form, no need a uh, section to fill up. We will have first the information from the copyright is going to form to this form. But if the researcher do function finally, that's when the researcher go to the main form and file registration by Kipsam or uh, and then uh, the researcher need to fill up this form. If through uh, that we procedure, uh, no need to fill up this form. Okay, this is the sample of the copyright voluntary notification registration or copyright only. Uh, this one, the application um, here, uh, and why uh, when doctor receive this application number, that's when uh, the work already submit and register with the manifold. So it is legal. Uh, but for more legal, uh, the system need to wait for this certificate. Okay.
So, uh, so for the trophy right after we apply okay, it will be displayed uh, in the theories so uh, where you can get uh, the 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 trophy right is stay in theories okay so at theories my profile academy research intellectual property so commencing uh 2022 okay so what happened now uh, once we approve an LMSV2, QBs cannot harvest from LMSV2 direct. Uh, so we work closely with RMC. We send the piece of copyrighted uh, work to RMC. So RMC will uh, upload it in QBs. Uh, okay. So before this, uh, all, here, uh, all the publications. Uh, okay. uh, so uh, if if you upload all the publications okay, uh, and copyright year 2021, okay, you can see at Kiris, my profile, academic research and uh, academic and publication, I think. Publication. Uh, then you will see this of publication and then copyright until 2021. But 2021 masih masuk dekat IRAP lagi. Ah, komensi 2022 semua dah masuk dekat arah nasib ini. IRAP pun tak ada dah. So then it's why uh, researchers can see all the publications dekat juris, dekat sini, Microsoft Academic uh, Publications. Ah, so yang tertentu dekat sini lah, sama lah tertentu dekat sini online. Right. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Madam Amy. Okay. 
So, for any inquiries, please contact copyright unit dari malam ini. This email is copyright official email. So, can you email us? And then, my name and saja is my extension. Staff of at the copyright unit, Sister Ismiza and Brother Habibina. So, we will go for the hands on on copyright is going to work. Okay, um, we do have questions uh, from Zoom. Um, from the last one. Um, question number one How to fill in the main hour span and contribution percent for 11 team members? Okay. Okay, question number two For software, which, uh, which one is better, either copyright or trademark? 
Maybe, maybe, um, sister, you can uh, give it this one by way. For the equity, uh, can you find, uh, for the elephant, uh, elephant, uh, water for water? Uh, maybe the, the main water basically has the highest equity, right? Okay, so maybe the other person can get uh, equity for ten, uh, as long as the total is hundred percent. For ours, uh, Question number three is research work sponsored by Jan Kim is considered official government works and is not protected by copyright. Uh, 
Okay, Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, thank you, Madam Dr. Salda, as a moderator for today. Uh, Assistant Professor uh, Dr. Nora Azura, Head of uh, Ambassador Research of KICD. Uh, professors, Associate Professors, Assistant Professors, Doctors and Brothers and Sisters. Okay, uh, my name is Muhammad Rizwan uh, from uh, I Library. So uh, today I will uh, talk about the uh, Myanmar Innovation Section C1 Publication and Copyright Report. Okay, basically this is a table of content that I will touch on the first one on the research uh, certain sections. Section in Myra, Section C1 Quantity and Quality of Research. How we harvest data for the Myra assessment. I uh, will touch on the section B4 equation. I will touch on the IIM research uh, accelerated currencies. Myra section oriented timeline for Myra 2022 for the four year and important date for assessment Myra 2022. Okay, uh, we are from the research uh, sub section. Uh, my head, Daniel Pinkiswa, uh, assisted by the Madam uh, Anis. Uh, we from the research data unit and from the copyright unit. So basically, uh, most of our unit will set the data for the MIRA uh, uh, call data and we process the data for the MOHE setup and send all those data to the RMC and uh, OSIS uh, of IEM before they submit to the PEP for the uh, what we call the assessment for 2022. Okay, Malaysia Research Assessment Instrument. Okay, basically, uh, there are two instruments, uh, Malaysia Research uh, Assessment uh, Instrument 1, uh, and then uh, Instrument 2. For our university, uh, right now, still, we are going to, we cannot not uh, about for the research university. We will uh, use uh, this uh, instrument 1 for the, 
what I call RUC. There are five RUC the UPM, UM, uh, UKM, USM, and the uh, UDM. They will use the uh, Manila assessment tool. Where, where, where the bar is a little bit higher compared to the viral assessment one. Okay, Malaysia research assessment is human viral one. As you know, there are section A until section H. For our library, we will focus on the section C, quantity, quality of research C1, section E, innovation B4, and section S, short, uh, support facilities H2. Okay, uh, for the, our work, we will compose uh, uh, what I call this advisory, minus 1 with the 2018, where you can get all this information from the RC website. There are two versions, the new version and the new version. Okay, now we we'll move to section C1 quality and quality of research. Okay. When we when we go to my university in the early first years, December 2019, there are twelve subsection for C1 from C1 A1. Uh, what we call this uh, total number of population is corpus was era index, and then there are also what we call this uh, positive complexity, joint application, and uh, total citation for five years. Total number of uh, my site index table. And then followed by the research book, the research book, and then book uh, chapters until C1F uh, comprised for other publication, publication in other journal, article, magazine, newspaper, or in your writing publication, and others. Okay, this is available where you can get all this information from virtually my one from uh, RMC websites. Okay, now I will talk on uh, section C1A1 for the number of publication is always for Sierra Tetanel. C1A2 for the number of publication is always for Sierra and Compton for Speaks. Okay, basically we will harvest the data for the IRAC. So when the researchers uh, deposit all the information in the IRAC, so we will harvest the data from the IRAC and then we will check the evidence, this is the sample of it. We will check what we call the title of each journal to publish, and then we will check the information, for example, volume, issue, page number, and view of publication. This information is very important for uh, what call journal and external publishers to verify whether this is uh, published for year 2020 or uh, back, uh, year or five year. For example, article published uh, early. Uh, so uh, the article will be carried over for next year. And then for this article, we will verify from the scopus. This is from the scopus that are on the icon version. We will check the volume, issue, page number, and the publication. This is sent from the scopus. And then uh, if, if uh, let's say if the article is not uh, in the scopus, we have uh, the option to verify from the web of science. So this is a sample from the web of science. Okay, what happened if the article uh, already deposited in IRAP, but the status is impress? Okay, what is an uh, impress? Basically, for the impress, uh, there is no information for the volume, the issue number, and the page number, for example, like this. So in this case, uh, again, we will check from the source. And then the status is article in text. And then we check this is an article. And then this is the, what we call the journal. But there is some information for volume, issue, page number. In this case, we will put uh, what we call this uh, information into KI release until the status change to publish. And then on the end, uh, we can submit this information to RMC. So this is what we call the sample from the was uh, where the article status as early assets. There is no information for the volume, issue number, view of publication. Okay, now we go to section C1 for the value of publication in Malaysia Scientific Index, my site in that journal. 
Okay, uh, until today, uh, we still follow what we call the list for uh, gender that is set uh, under my side. Uh, 2020, uh, 2020, until uh, what I call today, we are still awaiting a new list for uh, BICEP 2021. Uh, we expect to receive it from the committee by uh, the new law to be able to be Okay, for 2020, uh, there are around 300 channels that are what I call uh, index in my site. Okay, for my item set, uh, there are around 32 journals published by uh, all of Korea under IIM Press. So, for uh, 32 journals, uh, for the uh, year 2020, only 9 journals uh, that are uh, indexed under uh, my site. So, out of 32, only 9 journals are indexed in my site. Okay, for all this, then, uh, we receive uh, from the committee there are sort of three to two data. Uh, out of uh, three to two data that are uh, in my site, there are around uh, 50 data that are uh, behind the ICP. Then, uh, for example, uh, the first one is a special data of educational learning and multimedia that the commission is the IBM and followed by this uh, 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 FI academic provision. Uh, it is it. You have to uh, police. Meaning that, uh, uh, meaning that uh, the recognition from the NCT, they, 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 they have the option to publish uh, a call uh, in this uh, kind of data in order to get the article embedded in my site. Okay, this is a sample of what I call the article embedded uh, in my site. Again, we will harvest the data from the uh, IF. Um, from the IF information, we will check the report article, the author name, from which department, from which area. Uh, and again, we will verify the global issue of the numbers and the of population. Okay, now uh, we move to section C1, D11, number of research book in the Scopus course. C1, D, 1, 2, number of non uh, in that research book. Uh, again, we will uh, follow the what I call my repository. This is the what I call the rules. Uh, we, before we what I call how we will we check this kind of information. Okay, this is a sample of the book that are in fact in a scopus, for example, and the issue of the query. New prospect in optical strategy. Again, we will check all this information and the status of the book is the book, and then we will have this book is a scopus. Okay, this is a sample of the book that uh, accepted as the research uh, book, uh, but considered as non index research book. For example, uh, this type of book published by uh, IIFS. Okay, this is the sample. And then this is a number of book in that is Corpus Boss, whereby this type of book uh, published by Regional Publisher of the CRC Press, Spadio, um, etc. This is a sample of the what you call the research book and that research book for C1, C3. Okay, most of uh, what you call uh, sometimes we receive uh, what you call the data from the IRF. Whereby uh, this kind of question, and then the research claim that uh, already published a book, and then uh, why uh, your book is not considered as a uh, non index uh, research book. First of all, we will check what I call the table of content, and then, secondly, that we will check the publisher. If the publisher is uh, registered under the market, or not, because for the internal and external uh, auditor, when we when, when, when they, they verify all the data, the main thing they will check is the publisher. Either the publisher is uh, under the market or not. If not, uh, uh, they will uh, reject uh, this kind of uh, what I call publisher. But on then we will uh, what I call uh, move uh, this kind of information into C1F. C1F. So, this is a sample of the 
number of them in the research where you uh, can't be accepted as a, a research book. Okay, now we move to C1, D1, D21, number of objective and research book in the next corpus course. C1, D2, two, number of chapter in none in the research book. So again, we will uh, verify all this information from the prior laboratory. So this is a sample of the what I call book chapter. Uh, these are book chapters in that in the, uh, scopus. So this uh, what I call the author from Kulian uh, from SP, Dr. Najihad. I'm uh, Dr. Najihad. So again, from the uh, information, we will uh, verify from the scopus and uh, mention this uh, book chapter. And then from this information, we will submit all the information to the YR. So this is the list of the MAPIN. There are around 31 uh, uh, what I call publishers uh, registered at the MAPIN. Most of the what I call is uh, uh, IBDS uh, press registered at the MAPIN. And there are some uh, IBDS uh, publishers, for example, EP and uh, others that are registered at the MAPIN, where the researcher who would like to write a book can publish the book under this uh, registered publisher. Now we move to C1B3 number of case study technical report, C1B policy papers. So this is the rules from the Myron uh, number technical report and policy papers. Okay, there are uh, what I call uh, the process for the publish and unpublish. For the published as, uh, studies that are very well stable, you can uh, submit all of this information to the uh, kind of what we call the adversary IRAP. So you need what we call supply all the evidence and then submit to the IRAP. So what happens if you have the study that is very well, policy paper status as unpublished, and then you would like to claim the minor point. So here you can uh, register your own information uh, into this uh, IBC facility. Uh, you can contact uh, Sister Suhaiza Zakaria from uh, RMC. So what you need to do is, you uh, this is a sample of the registered consultancy project under IBF position. So you need to fill up the form uh, from uh, IBC. And then you need to fill what we call the accepted or operator from uh, any uh, organization that you do the case study of the data report. Follow the full report, uh, mention that uh, this report uh, published for year 2022. This is a Okay, this is a sample of the accepted data report. This is a sample. And the sample of the accepted uh, voice paper. So, this is a sample of uh, unaccepted of the uh, technical report. For example, if you have a technical report, but the status as the draft hour, draft the world, or draft ID, this uh, can't be accepted until this kind of work is no more here, meaning that uh, this, uh, this uh, report already published. Uh, there is a review of the subject there, so only that can be accepted. This uh, kind of one can be accepted. This is a sample of the uh, study of the report uh, as an uh, index, can be accepted for the MIRA assessment. So, uh, what are the references and tools that we are using in getting all the situation for MIRA assessment? So basically, again, for us to do the work, we will uh, use the MyRA Grocery. And then we will get the information from this uh, IRAP. And then uh, for the index article, we will check and verify from the scopus from the web of science. And then uh, let's say there, there are some of the journal that index in uh, what we call this uh, era as the research so we will refer this up from this list and for the national uh, agenda, we will check and verify for the five sets of the report and then for the book published uh, for the research or the research book, we will check uh, what called the publisher that registered the public and then 
we will check the name of the accreditation from the Myra at ISTA 2022. So basically, we will receive uh, twice uh, uh, what I call this. The first list will be received by uh, early of by end of July, and then uh, because of uh, my uh, August, September, there are some exhibition, uh, what I call the, the contracts of renewal, and all some of the what I call the exhibition uh, get uh, offered from others, uh, what I call uh, IPAs. So by uh, End of uh, November 2022, we will receive another uh, Myra and staff from the RC. Uh, we find that this is a final, uh, uh, final list for the uh, 2022 for the at staff. So, this is the step. We have to data from the IRF and from the stoppers. Okay, from the IRF, we will uh, check the status uh, as a live type. And year of the publication is 2022. Item type must be published, and all the information from the article in the internet program. So this is the step. And then uh, from the internet, you will receive the orata like this. Basically, it's the orata whereby the information uh, not uh, much more complete. And then from uh, the orata, we will complete and we will put all the information like this. Into this, uh, what you call masterpiece like this. Uh, there is a uh, staff number for all the something like that from each Korea and uh, the subtitle by the way is uh, what you call the uh, evidence for the scholars who was something like that. Okay, for the scholars, uh, we will have data for the presentation publication for example 2019 until 2022. This is for C1P. For five years, for example, like this, and then we will uh, receive the record information from scholars like this, the raw data like this, and then from this raw data, we will uh, what call transfer to the minor template like this. For example, there is a staff name, staff ID, co-author from which we are we will need complete all information before we submit this complete data for the Myra uh, assessment. From C1A until C1C, C1M, all this information uh, will be used by the RMC to give the point for the uh, activation and uh, point for the uh, uh, for IMP sense. So section E, sorry, okay, section uh, E for copyright. Okay, section E for copyright. Actually, there are seven uh, sub uh, section. For example, from uh, E one A until E three A, uh, this uh, duration uh, handled by FMCG. But for the library, we will focus on E four A, unrelated commercialized product technology or know how and book trade sections. So basically, we will refer again from the my advisory. So we will have the data from the RSM B two. And then this is the uh, information that we get from the RSMB2. And then from the information, we will receive the what we call the full uh, report of all the evidence. And then we need this uh, kind of uh, copyright uh, certification from the MIPO. And then we need the complete uh, copyright certification form. So from these three evidence, we will transfer it into this master list and then we submit to. Uh, RMC or Myra assessments. Okay, uh, I have researched uh, as currencies. So basically, you can get uh, this information from the RMC website, uh, the what called the title I have researched as So basically, for C1C until uh, C1F and E4, there is the number is uh, like this. So you can check your uh, what called the, for example, you write an article that the uh, scopus or what. Uh, what are uh, the total uh, point of mark that you will get? So you can check from the RMC website. Please. Okay, now I will bring uh, three scenario uh, how you can uh, get uh, mark from uh, one article. Uh, 
and then you can get uh, you can score a mark for uh, various subsection. For example, if for example, say one the article uh like understanding how machine movement uh creates their friends and can system the graph. And then this author is a uh, doctor doctor from a quantum like uh from one time. Uh, she uh, joined uh, Corporal Way uh, with one uh, national entity from the UN and two uh, authors from uh, UK. Okay. So uh, she published the article uh, into IIF Medical Journal Machine. In fact, uh, this uh, kind of journal is indexed in my site and uh, indexed in a scopus. Okay. okay, from uh, her article, uh, her article uh, uh, in that is copies and paper of sign. So she can get a point for C1A1. The total of publication is copies was era general. And then because uh, there are one national uh, order from UN, two uh, international order, she also will receive a point for joint publication for the uh, national and for the international. And then uh, let's say her article is cited by any researchers from Malaysia or International. Uh, she will receive fine for C1B1 for public impact for the citation of publication. And then, because of this uh, general index in my site and uh, article in my site, so she will receive another point for C1C for number of publication in my site in the general. This is how. Uh, uh, one one article, uh, this, uh, this information uh, received a uh, point from various sub uh, section in C1. Okay, now we move to slide two. First of all, I am. We ask a uh, corresponding author, I am. So basically, from this list, all the authors are from I am. So again, we will check and verify from the full text. And uh, because of the terminology is corresponding to the body structure. So uh, for the minus first, the terminology is applied as a first order for IM uh, to receive a point for the minor assistance. So we begin with the check from the software. This is the proof that uh, she is the corresponding order for this article. Uh, Okay, now we move to scenario three, uh, collaboration of authors. So basically, this is a sample from an article written by Prof. Dr. Sheikh Abdel Han from uh, Kulia Hawaii Basically, she, uh, he, he joined uh, what is called uh, author with uh, various uh, authors from international. So from uh, first, second, third, fourth uh, authors from international, and uh, only then uh, his uh, position in this article is number five. And then she he, he, he will get a point for the Myra system. So again, we will refine from this uh, article we check is the uh, Susugalo on the other lines. And then we will refine from the scope, uh, website or scopus. Okay, now uh, I will uh, record information on the Myra search correctors. So from the RMC website, we can uh, get a list of the Myra section operators for section K until H. For the line required, uh, section C1, E4. So uh, just for section operators, it's going to be in our background, uh, just like today. So if you have any uh, problem or you want to ask about the fixed data, communication, copyright, or frequency of Myra point, you can uh, email or contact her. So inshallah, we, uh, she will uh, assist you. For the page two, uh, we have this video uh, idea. Sidiyanya Rabina. Okay, this is timeline for Myra 2022 as given by RC on the 23rd of June 2022. So okay, for the first order, uh, order one, order two, so we also submit the data to the RC. And now uh, we still in the process to receive what call, uh, let's say the commission have uh, have a problem with their mark or any. You can uh, still have a time to contact your session coordinator because uh, now we we will contain for the quarter one and quarter two. And at the same time, now we are uh, in the uh, midst to process the data for quarter three. 
before we submit it uh, by uh, early of November uh, 2022 uh, to RFC. So this is important date for the assessment by RFC two as emailed from the RFC. This is uh, how uh, we work uh, as uh, scheduled by the RFC from uh, May until next year, uh, by April or May next year, until uh, audited by the internal and external auditor for my draft. I think uh, that's all for me. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum. This is a very good presentation. Yeah. Uh, how uh, to, how a journal? I am a journal. Big text in my side lah. Okay. So first of all, uh, in order for us to search any journal that index in under my side, okay, we must uh, check at the journal citation report menu on top there. Okay. Journal citation report. Ah, uh, menu menu, general citation report. Okay, do not search at uh, general search, advanced search. Uh, we will list down all the general information. Uh, okay, so uh, if you see here, this is this short. Okay, this is menu, general citation report. Okay, uh, my site, and then my site citation report there. Okay, so when we type uh, the keyword, okay, we will list down all the uh, my site index general. Uh, and it is still used. Uh, 2020 is uh, this is the list from 2020, right? So you see here uh, total journal uh, P12 is the same list in EGF that all the research is here. Uh, 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 only 312 journal. Okay, so what happened is that uh, at the EP side, they will do assessment of all universe, uh, all uh, Malaysia journal. Uh, right, so how do they assess uh, based on the articles that I read? Uh, that the sheet in my journal, my journal is another platform. Okay, uh, okay. so uh, in order, they uh, they we we deposit all the articles based on the uh, IUN journals. Uh, website lah. So whatever uh, articles, issues, volumes, uh, so we will visit in my journal. So at KPT side, uh, to register, to register the journal to KPT, I uh, send the idea and press lah. Uh, right. So that's all for me. Thank you, Mr. Rizwan and Mr. Uh, any, uh, any questions from the audience? So at the beginning of the slide, one of the topics about exhibition, if I remember. Before this, I think I will name the slide. Okay, it's a person. It's a person. And next. Uh, and, uh, it's actually innovation. Okay, can, can I just confirm? Um, because I remember in my round, we can actually get points for um, innovate. If you have won any award in innovation, 
if you want any goal and above award in um, any innovation competition, they have listed about seven competition and one of them is which stuff. But if I'm not mistaken, if in the end 2008, in the latest one, they have added another new criteria, which is the last one, where if we have won any award, gold and above, in any innovation competition, which is not organized or co-organized by our um, institution, that is not organized or co-organized by the CIA, for example. Can, you, can I just confirm on that? Okay, I'm not sure if it's my right one or my right two.
Okay. Um, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, done with uh, online conversation. Now we uh, proceed with uh, physical conversation. At the front. Okay, um, let's end our session. Let's end our session with Rasting Akala and Surah Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, now, um, I would like to, uh, to have a, to give uh, some token of appreciation for the guest speakers. Okay, um, first, um, Sister, Sister Sakina. Um, thank you. Second, Sister Sohani. Right. Okay, thank you. Um, third, Sister Ani. Thank you, Sister Ani. Yeah, last one, um, brother is Alhamdulillah. So, Allah, um, I think we should have a, this kind of workshop um, in 
the next chapter, insyaAllah. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Share web, share browser tak boleh? 